In this tutorial, we're going to go over your table arrangement icon. It's right up here in your button bar, right next to the room arrangement. Now, once you have your meeting space or banquet hall, and let's say you want to start bringing in some tables and chairs, you're going to come on over to your assets panel, go to your pull down that says tables, drag and drop a table into your space. If you're not sure of the size or what it looks like, all you do is look over in the properties panel. It's going to show you a thumbnail. You can click on 3D properties. It brings you into this box that has um, the height of the table. It also has the um, tablecloth color. If you want to elevate it, meaning if you want to put it on a stage or up on a higher surface, if you know the dimension of that height, you just put it right in there where it says elevation and it will raise it up. Click on OK to get out of the box. And now we're going to put some chairs around our table. Now you'll see I already brought my array zone in. This is the space I'm going to want to put the table and chairs in. But first we have to put chairs around the table. So I'm clicking on the table and I'm coming up here to table arrangement. It's going to bring me into this dialog box that has several options of chairs that I can put around um, my table depending upon what kind of layout that I'm doing and we'll just go over a few of them here so you can look at them. I'm going to go with a wedding chair right down at the bottom. You're going to see a nice little thumbnail up here. It's going to give some sizes. You come over and look and you'll see that the chairs are around the table right now. And right now we have eight, but I think I want to adjust that size. Um, just move it in for less amounts of chairs or move it out for more. We have a small table so we want to um, just keep with you know less chairs around it to give them a little bit more room now if you want to um, adjust how you bring the the chairs in or how they're positioned around the table right now they're going all the way around full 360 you can do that over here you can either use the arrows go up and down to slowly change the angle or you can just put in a number here if I put in 90 degrees it's going to start it at the 90 um, let's say I want to go you know halfway from there we'll do 270 hit enter it's going to bring it around to the 270 mark um, this is great for if you want to just have a few chairs around your table you set it up in this view here once you generate it it's going to bring it into the layout looking like that so right now we're just going to go back up to um, 360 for now and we'll start it at the beginning. I hit enter there. Now, if you want to change where the tables are or the chairs are positioned within the table, you can move the chairs in under the table like that with the slider, or you can bring them out. Now, this is great if you're trying to figure out traffic flow in an event. If you want to bring the chairs out a little bit, so you know when people pull away from the table, that's what the space is going to look like. I'm going to leave it at that for now. And down here we have the diameter of that particular table. So you can go back in if you want to get a different size table um, when you go back into the drawing space. So I'm going to hit generate right now. Click on that. It's bringing the table in with the chairs on it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little closer. And actually I'm going to move out a little bit more. There we go. So now I want to put the table and chairs in the array zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on the table and chairs. I'm going to come up here to room arrangement. Click on that. It's going to bring me in here. Now, let's say I just wasn't sure what I was doing. I just hit draw. It's going to bring up this little box saying that the width or height is too small. That means you didn't give it any space to um, establish for them to lay out the tables and chairs in. So just exit out of that. We're going to come up, we're going to hit select array zone. And I can either click in my array zone and then click on show window. Or if I forgot to bring a array zone in at that point, I can just drag and drop one in, position it to the size that I need it. And um, I could click on that one. But we already have one space um, that we want to put the table and chairs in. So I'm just going to hit show window. It's going to bring us back in. I'm going to hit draw. It's going to give me the objects down here at the bottom. 25 tables and chairs are within the space. Now this is honeycomb. You can come over here. You can click on grid. And let's hit draw again. It's going to show you what it looks like. 
So if you want to do just, you know, straight rows like that, you can do that. I prefer the honeycomb myself, so I'm going to go back to that and hit on draw all over again. And if you come down here, you can create a buffer zone around the tables and chairs around the perimeter of it. Um, right now I'll just show you by putting like 24 in at the top and from the left side we'll do 24. Just bringing it down 24. I'm going to hit draw. It's going to bring it over 24 and that just kind of shifts everything around for you. I kind of like how that looks so I'm going to leave it like that. And then you can also go if you want between objects. Right now it's at 72. Just so you can see what it looks like and you have 23 tables. Um, let's make it 100 just so you can see how it changes it. I'm going to hit draw again and it brought us down to 14 tables and it gave um, more room in between where the chairs are. So for your traffic, um, if you're doing a, a banquet and you have to go through with a, a cart, you know, this gives them extra space. So I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. Now another thing is if you hover over the number, it gives you um, some information on what that task is. So for right now, I'm going to go with Submit because I like what I have laid out here. And it's going to bring the table and chairs into our space. You're going to notice on it that it's numbered right now. Now if you click on any particular table, if you come over here to the Properties panel, the number shows up. You can name this also. Let's highlight it. Let's just do VIP. Now it's the VIP table. So this is great because especially for weddings, you know, if you want to put in, you know, groom's family table or bride's, you know, anything you want to do to personalize it more, it works out great. Um, we can also, if you want to group the table and chairs together, you just come up here and you select a window and um, you window the whole group and then click on group. Let's zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to get rid of this array zone. Oops, excuse me, I'm going to hit delete. Now if you want to um, remove your array zone instead of deleting it, you could delete this one or what you can do is you can go in to your layer control and where it says array zone, click on that, right now it's visible and it's not visible anymore and then click out instead of um, deleting it if you want to keep it within that space. So I'm going to show you another way to populate your area. So I'm clicking on my table and chairs. I'm going to come back up here to the room arrangement. You may have noticed um, there's a section here, array width, array height. You can give it your own space requirements. So if you know the size of a room or a certain area of space you want to fit the tables in, hit draw. It's going to create that space for you and position the tables and chairs in there. So that's another great way of doing it instead of the array zone you can just do more of a free form um, creating your own space. I'm going to hit submit so you can see what this looks like and it's going to bring them in and what it does is it starts it at the the lower right hand corner of where your table and chairs are positioned. So if you know exactly where you want it at, where your room is going to be, you can just um, position the table and chairs and then you can lay it out that way as well. And if you want to connect them all together just click on the window and window around them. Click on it, come up here to group, group it and now they're all connected. And isn't that great? You can also rotate them if you want to. Now let's go into 3D and take a look at this. might take a few seconds because we have a lot of information in there. If your 3D doesn't work you can always go up to the Launch 3D Viewer and that will bring you right into it. And here we go. So now you put your um, table and chairs in your space and let's take a good look at this. Isn't that great? I mean this is a wonderful way to create events. Um, you can see ahead of time what it's going to look like. You can uh, give the chairs a particular color if you know if it's going to be a wedding, if you know what the um, bridal party is going to have and you can really set this up and make it a lot of fun for the event that you're creating.